where like girls trip could really do you good or bad. It really is changing careers before our very eyes. Right. I mean, Taylor is back in the OC. And I mean, now this, I think girls trip resurrected. It's like a little test. We're going to give you a little test. It is. It is. I think so too. It helped Tamara. It helped Taylor. It helped Phaedra. So it did not, it did not help Brandy Glanville. And that's no shade because I love Brandy, but I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it helped. No, I, I think it's the end. Isn't that, t- is it, how do you feel about that though? Oh, Look, that's a complicated one. It's, it's plausible that we may not see Brandy again. I, on I Bravo. Think, I think it's likely I think it's likely. I I really don't see how they can bring her back after this. I don't. And I'm still convinced. I mean, I I had Brandy on. I just had Caroline on. I'm convinced Caroline has filed a lawsuit, has... I mean, I... No one is... I mean, this isn't like... I mean, I'm just convinced. Like, there's nothing. And I do have some... I've heard some things, but I'm it, I mean, like, she, well, <laughs> to that effect. And this isn't, but if she had, look, you don't always have to file a lawsuit to say there's money that was put into a bank account. And now we're all just going to, you know, sign our names on the documents, no lawsuit because this money cleared, you know, like that is a way to do it too. So that's, but I am, yes. And this isn't nothing. Um, this is no team, this one or that one. This is just a fact of how, look, if that happened to me or anything close to it, I would, I guarantee you that I would be, I mean, I would be like, bye, Bravo. I'll never be back. But the money has cleared today. I would absolutely lawyer up and go hard. That's just me. Now, do, well, well, now, look. now, now, don't be afraid to hire me, executive producer Kim. <laughs> I mean, I am, I am a well, I know how to play. I know I'm like, I, I'm like a Kenya when I'm like a higher talent, you show up, you do the job, you say, thank you. You become low. Yeah. Maintenance. I'm just saying like when it's really over, like, and that's the other thing too. Like, I think, I think Brandy based on some statements she's made recently, I think she realizes it's over. So I, if, if I were her, I would also go hard at it. Like realizing, wait a second. You're never going to use me again. Well, then that's where you see like they're demanding footage and this and that. And she's saying like, this narrative is so damaging. Is If I were her, I, w- I would go do something too. I, this is just me. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, and I'm pushing stuff back so we can continue. Um, I know. I'm very condescending of your time. Oh, you no, 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 no. I already push it back. We have another okay. 15. All good. Okay, all good. good. Okay. Because your assistant made it very clear that you have a heart. I know, you're, I know. I just, you're I very in like, demand, Carlos. I just said push it back 15 minutes. Okay. Because we, I still want to wrap things up. In, we have in a things good going. Way. And then we'll um, Do you think that Brandy Glanville will never work in this business again? I mean, the thing is, to me, there's no difference between that and Nene Leakes. It's the same question. I think Nene's chances of, I mean, I think, I, okay, I think truly Brandy will never see on an NBC anything again. That's truly what I feel. It's not, doesn't mean I don't, I love Brandy. And then we I love go, Brandy. Brandy's great yeah. television. Yeah. And then I go to Nene and I'm like, I don't know. I'm more torn maybe about Nene because I always say if you sue a, the net, a network, that's the end of it. But then, I mean, look, we have, here's a perfect example. And it's not, it's a much lesser example. We have this legacy show that we're casting and Ramona has a troubled, a very recent troubled cast of, you know, I mean, do I think Ramona is racist? I don't. But we have this claim against Ebony. You know, Ebony goes and complains to HR, even though she's probably like, I'm not being disloyal to you, Ebony, even though you've never admitted this. We all know it happened. And now we can't use Ramona for legacy. So Ramona says legacy loser on the Carlos King podcast. (laughs) You know, 
<laughs> and then she says, and, and I believe Ramona when she says, I've moved on in life. Like, I do believe it. She's not one of these housewives that's talking. Ramona is all about Ramona. She can't see past Ramona. So I, yes. so I was right. So I do believe that Ramona's moved on and she's not talking. And she is when she says, my life is better now. Of course it's better, girl. You don't have all this drama. Life is great. So I believe all of that and that she's moved on and I, I'm, I never want to go back. Now we have legacy and we have Joel Zarin who pulls out because she says, you you gave me the least amount of money and I'm worth way more than that. And you all think I'm desperate. Jill, I'll teach you a lesson because I'm filming the OG show over here. So Jill doesn't sign. She is, I mean, that's I, that I've known for an actual fact months, months, weeks, months before it happened. I never really broke it because it was from such, but I think Jill has now put that out there, right, Jill? Oh, on the Jeb Lewis show, she absolutely okay. did. Well, there you go, yeah. Jill. See, Jill, because Jill and I are, I spoke to her the other day on the phone for like two hours. Jill and I, I are- I love like, Jill. We are, we are, whatever, we we are close now. I love my Jill. Now, so that's that. So Jill's out now of this. Now the whole thing falls apart. We don't have a legacy show now. And now we might do a legacy girls trip which Jill still pretty much doesn't want to do. And now we're coming back to Ramona. You know that theory? It's, and that is, this is true. So my point is, Bravo can say, you know, we are not working with Ramona. We're going to, you know, because she's a difficult and she has some racial tendencies here. But when they need her, sure. Now Ramona, Ramona's back in. She's she's going to do this girl's trip. And she too is full of shit because she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. Sure. But she's going to, as you say, no one turns down an offer. Ramona's no going to sign on the, if no one realizes this, Ramona's going to sign on the dotted line for this legacy girl's trip whatever it is. And she'll say, well, I stand by the legacy loser, but this is just girl's trip for 10 days. <laughs> Girl, they didn't want you. They, they they didn't want you. You were fired from the legacy show and they weren't going to take you. And now they're going to take you. You'll take it. So the point is, I don't know <laughs> if Atlanta isn't, if this season is lackluster and the ratings don't go up and they're like, we need a big move here. I don't know. Maybe there will be that lunch between Andy and Nene, but I just think when it's legal, it's so much harder. Yes, and I think to your point, obviously, you know, look, who would have thought Jax and Brittany, right, would be back into the fold, right? And now I'm hearing Kristen too. So to your point, I think, I think things need to simmer down. So I'm actually agreeing with you in terms of, some time have to pass because look, we live in a world where people have a short memory span. Like they just don't really, and they don't care as much years later as they would have in the moment. Um, one thing you touched on that is so interesting. I never thought about that. If Atlanta Housewives isn't good this season, I do think you'll see the return of Nene and Kim. I don't, I don't, I don't think they would. Let's listen. Let's have an honest conversation. Yeah, I don't think they believe saying Kim is back is big enough. Right? It's sort of like that's your big announcement. Like that, that doesn't get people excited, right? I think if you said we have Nene and Kim back, David, I can promise you. You think Vanderpump rules ratings are at its highest this season based on the scandal. That's going to give that particular franchise the biggest number it has seen in recent years. And I, look, I think time has passed to where you can sit down, have a conversation, really get to the root of the issue and say, I'm sorry, you're sorry, let's figure this out. And I, I'm like you, it's not too far fetched to me to see Nene back on Atlanta if, if this season isn't good. But would Nene be able to play and say, you're right, I'm not worth, you know, although Candy makes a shitload of money, you know what I mean? Like Nene yeah. would have to come back with like, it can't be like I'm $5 million, Nene leaks, and this no. is my show. She would have to right. fall in line and just be a soldier, which look, I think enough she would. And as you say, Carlos, a direct quote from Carlos King, life after housewives, David, is not easy. It ain't, bitch, it ain't easy. And guess what? It's not cute. And 